Hi, welcome back to a new episode of A Girl's Reflections. And today I'm here to talk about how to set healthy boundaries with others and when no really means no. Establishing healthy boundaries is essential to preserving our mental and emotional health. And I'll start with a point that, in my opinion, is crucial, is the power to say no. We live in a society where sometimes saying no is seen as a weakness or even sometimes as an attempt to play hard to get. And here comes an issue that I think is important to address, especially in dynamics between men and women. Uh, there are women who sometimes say no, but they expect the other person to understand that it wasn't really a no. And I've seen videos of women talking about this, and the truth is that this type of behavior only creates confusion. Let me be clear, like in my case, when I say no, I mean no, okay? And I don't want to, like I'm not interested, I'm not available, period. You know, when it's no, it's no. There's no room for any other interpretation. And if I say yes, it's because I agree, I want to or I'm interested. End of story. And honestly, I worry that because of attitudes like the one that I said before, uh, like my no could be seen as a maybe or a yes in disguise. And not only is that uh, uncomfortable, and it, it also like disrespects the boundary that I'm trying to set. And yes, I think a lot of people end up generalizing this type of behavior, which is not at all a good thing, okay? It's not healthy. Because people have to understand that when you say yes, okay, it's yes, you agree with them. But when it's a no, like, it is a no, and you don't need to give any justification, okay? The same logic applies to establishing your own values, Just as you strive to define your goals, your life standards and everything you believe in, you should do the same with your limits. Because putting yourself first is not selfishness, it is self-care. And the way we treat ourselves teaches the world how to treat us. And in other words, if I don't respect myself and don't make others respect my limits, like who is going to do it for me? Because we have to love and care for ourselves because the relationship we have with ourselves is the foundation for all others. Now on the subject of boundaries and self-care. If there is something that bothers you, if you are not comfortable with a situation or do not want to do something, make your voice hurt. Don't force yourself to do something you don't want to just to please others and constantly like putting others first without taking care of yourself will eventually wear you down in fact one thing i've learned through my life is that we have to speak up so don't hold back and if something bothers you whether it's someone's attitude or a situation just speak up And I've had someone tell me that if I don't speak up, others will assume that I don't care and will continue to do whatever they want. And yes, many times we end up missing out on great opportunities or allowing people to take advantage of us because we don't speak up. For example, imagine that you are in a situation of mild bullying and the person did something you didn't like or said something that made you feel really bad if you don't say anything to them if you don't stand up for yourself that person will think they are they can continue to play with you that way and you simply have to go to them and say like i didn't like your attitude this was the first and last time that i will accept this behavior and i expect you to show me the respect i deserve 
And that's it. Let's hope that the person understands their place and respects you. And in any case, if you know someone like this or have been in the situation and that person is mean, rude, and continues to do the same, just get that person out of your life like right now. Now I want to share a personal story. My friend and I are very close, but when we went to high school, things changed. We we each went our separate ways, different schools, different lives, and we kept in touch, but there was a time when I felt like we were growing apart, and I was so worried and even cried because of that. And I wondered if I had done something wrong and if she didn't want to be my friend anymore. And you know that, like, you know that childhood feeling when you think you're losing an important friendship? Like, I was at that phase. So I reached the point where I just thought, this can go on like this and I just need answers. So I sent her a message with my heart in my mouth trying to clear up my doubts and guess what it was like all in my head and she was just busy with her new phase in life and i was making a big deal out of nothing and our friendship was never at risk and the most important thing is that i was able to get that big doubt out of my head and sometimes we just need to talk and clarify things and it may seem difficult, but it's worth it. And it was there with that situation that day that I realized the importance of talking to people and expressing our concerns and feelings. And going back to the issue of boundaries, I asked myself why we should have these boundaries and the answer is simple. Because it is the least we can do for ourselves. It is a way of marking how far people can go and how far they can go with us. And one of the most important things we can do for ourselves is to set clear boundaries. Because these boundaries are not for others, they are for ourselves. And if you don't feel good, if you don't want to do something, just say so. And yes, when you put yourself first, many people will call you selfish. Like they will say that you are, that you only look out for yourself. But if you don't do it, who will do it for you? Of course, there are ways to say no politely without like creating a necessary conflict. Um, you don't need to like over explain or feel guilty. Just be direct and polite. Just say, I can't now, but I appreciate the invitation or I understand that this is important to you, but I'm not in a position to help you at the moment. And just remember, like practicing self-care is an essential part of maintaining your boundaries and prioritize prioritize your well-being. The more you do this, the easier it will be for you to maintain those boundaries and don't be afraid to adjust them over time but never to the point where you sacrifice yourself and in short setting boundaries is not a selfish act it is self-care and it is respect for yourselves so if you don't like something speak up don't be afraid to make your voice heard because sometimes we lose a lot by not saying what we think and your boundaries are your protection And this is all for today. I hope you enjoyed listening to this episode. And I hope that you are also enjoying this little podcast that I'm making for you. So yeah, that's it. See you next time.